Boy, 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 boy. We got him. We got him. Okay. Because y'all remember Michael Avenatti, the savior, the Trump-hating lawyer that was going to save America from Trump, right? Y'all remember him? Y'all remember that guy, right? The guy that was representing the actress, Stormy Daniels, whom, by the way, I have not seen any of her work, so I can't really say whether or not she was good at her job, just not my type, right? But <laughs> this guy was a media darling. He was a media darling during the early Trump years because the liberal media they thought that he was going to take down Trump. But lo and behold, right? Fast forward to 2021. This disgraced man is being sentenced to 30 months in prison for trying to extort Nike, right? You you would think that the liberal media would think that Trump would be serving Tom. They still have not gotten Trump. But the lawyer that they thought would get Trump, right, is the one that's actually going to be behind bars. Ain't it funny how that works? And I, I just want to remind you guys just how much the media was uh, kissing this guy's ass throughout the years. Uh, just, just watch. He's Donald Trump's worst nightmare, Michael <laughs> Avenatti. Joining us once again is Michael Avenatti. Let's bring in Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti, thank you very much. He's out there saving the <laughs> Look, country. It, it, Don Meacham says he may be the savior of the republic. You are something of a folk hero now. I owe Michael Avenatti an apology. I've been saying enough already, Michael. I've seen you everywhere. What do you have left to say? I was wrong, brother. You have a lot to say. I uh, am just dying to hear what you think because people all like you i'm the only person right here donald trump fears more than robert miller we think you guys are the tip of the spear that's going to take down donald trump right. michael avenatti's a beast okay that's true and he, he's a beast he's a beast i hand it to yeah. her and i hand it to michael avenatti but he has a great bigger calling here that being a lawyer is minimal compared to what he's doing no one has talked tougher directly to Donald Trump on TV than Michael Avenatti. And Donald Trump is afraid to mention his name. That's fascinating. Donald Trump is terrified of Michael Avenatti. Now, he gives Trump a run for his money more than anybody <laughs> else, Michael Avenatti. An existential threat to the Trump presidency. The Democrats could learn something for you. You are messing with Trump a lot more than they are. He has no doubt created sheer panic in Donald Trump's very fragile mind. Michael Avenatti is laying down the law as guest co-host. And is he really thinking about running for president? Uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. You look at the field of Democrats right now and Avenatti's the one who stands out. If they decide they value a fighter most, yes. people would be foolish to underestimate Michael yeah. Avenatti. I have always said that they need a fighter. Look, I mean, we're going to continue to use the media. I think we've used it with great success. Lately, to me, you're like the Holy Spirit. You are <laughs> all places <laughs> at all times, right? <laughs> I mean, you, I, I do. I see you all over cable news. I see you. You know, there is a, a, a seat available if you want to be a co-host at The View. You might, you know, there's people here you can pitch. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is probably Anna Navarro comparing this man basically to God, right? Calling him the Holy Spirit, right? Calling him the Holy Spirit, Okay. That, that's how much of a cult-like personality this man was for the left, okay? They thought this man would be the Democrat nominee at one point, okay? Um, that's how much they hate Trump and how much they was obsessed with him. And it's just so funny and so satisfying seeing this man fall from grace. So let's read here about what's going on. A judge on Thursday afternoon handed down a... 30-month prison sentence to disgrace attorney Michael Avenatti, who rose to national prominence purely by casting himself as a left-wing champion fighter, former President Donald Trump, for attempting to extort Nike for up to $25 million. Avenatti's punishment is less than 9 uh, to 11-year range per federal guidelines and is likely to disappoint federal prosecutors who saw a substantial sentence. Mr. Avenatti's conduct was outrageous, uh, stated Judge Paul Gardupe. Uh, said in U.S. District Court in Manhattan, he hijacked his client's claims and he used him to further uh, his own agenda, which was to extort Nike millions of dollars for himself. Now, he basically was trying to um, 
extort Nike out of money by saying that, hey, Nike illegally paid high school athletes. And he's basically like, listen, you know, unless y'all let me investigate this, okay, aka pay up, then I'm gonna have to snitch on y'all, right? And basically he got popped on that, okay? Quote, he outright betrayed his client. The judge added, Mr. Avenatti had become drunk on power of his platform or what he perceived the power of his platform to be. Avenatti broke into tears while addressing the court ahead of his Senate saying, I am truly sorry for all the pain I caused. I alone have destroyed my career, my relationships, and my life. And there is no doubt I need to pay. Avenatti admitted. Criminal fraud charges on two coaches disrupted Avenatti's uh, rapid ascent to fame. He also faces the start of a fraud trial next week in the Los Angeles area, a, a second California trial later this year, and a separate trial later uh, next year in Manhattan where he is charged with cheating Daniels out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay. Avenatti represented Daniels in uh, 2018 lawsuits against Trump appearing often on cable news programs to disparage the Republican president. Avenatti explored a running against Trump in 2020, boasting that he would have no problem raising money. Daniel said a twist with Trump a decade earlier resulted in her being paid $130,000 by Trump's a personal lawyer in 2016 to stay silent. Trump denied the affair. Those political aspirations evaporated when prosecutors in California and New York charged Avenatti with fraud in March 2019. California prosecutors said he was enjoying a $200,000 a month lifestyle while cheating clients out of millions of dollars and failing to pay hundreds of thousands to the Internal Revenue Service. Uh, charges alleging he cheated Daniels out of proceeds from a book deal followed weeks later. Uh, Avenatti pleaded not guilty to all charges. Okay, wow. So this guy right here is living high off the hog. Right, he he was power hungry. I mean, dude, you living off two hundred thou two hundred thousand dollars a month, cheating your clients out of millions of dollars, finessing, and then on top of that, not only did you finesse, you didn't pay up to the IRS, right? And honestly, he probably you know wouldn't be in so much trouble if he had just paid the man, right? Paid Uncle Sam, okay? Because when you cheating Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, they, they ain't going to let you get away with that, right? They ain't going to let you get away with it, right? That's when it becomes an issue. You can do a whole lot. You, it may or may not be legal, but as long as you're paying Uncle Sam, they probably won't bother with you, right? But it's when you start cheating Uncle Sam, that's when you start getting in some issues. And for as smart as this man is, for as talented as the Democrats claim this man was, um, um, it's really kind of crazy to see him get in all this trouble and become as disgraced as he is. Um, but with that being said, for as corrupt as he is, he may have been the least corrupt Democrat candidate in 2020. I don't know, right? He still may have been cleaner than some of these corrupt Democratic uh, politicians, right? Um, but hey, this is just in time. Maybe he'll get out. He can become uh, Biden's next attorney general or something like that. Um, and I can imagine that, you know, he kind of got off easy, okay? Because allegedly he was supposed to get nine to 11 years I, maybe he got some time off for being a trump hater right maybe the judge was like you know what you hated on trump for two three years okay and for all the trump hate uh we gonna take some time off your sentence right i think he's getting off easy i think he's getting off easy okay again if this was a conservative whew, dude be doing 20 30 years right easy okay who knows maybe hunter is next maybe they will finally get hunter biden like, they got this guy. There has to be something there with Hunter Biden. There has to be something there. But who knows? We'll see. But anyways, another uh, Trump hater bites the dust. And, and more embarrassment for the liberal media who kissed the ring of this guy um, for multiple years thinking that he would take down Trump. But ultimately, Trump is not the one that's in jail. This guy is thinking that he would ultimately be the one to put Trump behind bars. He's actually going to end up behind bars. So, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.